Um, let's move on to standard five, five quick questions, with central standard. Um, number one, you seem absolutely fearless. What is one video that you would never do? I'm really scared of heights and sharks. So. You already jumped out of a plane. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't know <laughs> if I would do parkour on the edge of a building. That might be where I draw the line. Um, I know I've thought about where I draw the line. I would never get into a car with a Kia boy. How about that? That's a video idea I would never do. Um, I don't want to swim with sharks. Snakes didn't bother you at all. What, snakes could scare the shit out of me too, but that was a little bit more manageable. I guess one thing that to me would be extremely scary, but I almost, I would feel like I'm, I have to say yes, is if uh, a high ranking cartel member were to ask me to come interview them, it would be terrifying to do that. But I also think if I'm getting welcomed in, that I would be okay. But there's, there's some of these places you go that are no man's land that who knows if you come back and how do you know I can, how do I know I can trust someone that their organization has killed dozens of people this year? Like what? Oh yeah, you seem like a good guy. Like I don't know how how to figure that out, but that would be something that terrifies me, but also intrigues me at the same time. Yeah, because you have zero protection going into any of these places at all. Mm -hmm. um, who's one person, dead or alive, that you would want to spend a day with? Teddy Roosevelt. Why? I just love. I that's a guy that I've read different versions of his biographies a few times over, and I just love the way he lived his life. I think he's a kind of true renaissance man where he was uh he's been a, a writer he's been a the, the police chief he's been the president he's been a rancher he's been a, a soldier so i think being able to wear the different hats that life lets you try on and doing them all well another thing i really respect about him and i think we really need today as a leader is someone that tells the truth uh, and someone that is fearless like i love hearing stories about when he would have guests over to the white house he would take them into the freezing cold Potomac River on little uh, adventures and make them go and uh, you know, climb trees and do all sorts of wild stuff. So uh, he almost died right after he was president. He took a trip to the Amazon trying to uh, f uh, explore a, um, an unmapped part of the, the Amazon and almost died doing that. And so there is so much about a guy like that that I find inspirational. And he also he was a wonderful father, which another one of my heroes, Benjamin Franklin, that's his big downfall was he was a, a shitty father. So I think um, good to observe and learn from. Love it. I think you already answered this question. Most uncomfortable you felt during a video. I'm guessing that was when you were on the floor while you got raided by the Mexican police. But if there was a, a second most uncomfortable moment, what would that be? Or scariest moment? This isn't that extreme, but one, one of my biggest pet peeves is when people litter and I was with these kids, these New York drill rappers and their projects, and they got some food from a bodega and every piece of trash from the food they were eating, they were just throwing out on the ground. And I guess it wasn't that uncomfortable for me, but I called them out. I'm just like, Earth Day's around the corner and people live here. Like, what do you think about that? And they're just like, ah, fuck it. And it just, that's another part of the nihilistic aspect of some of these kids that just, it's hard to wrap my head around. Is like, how do people not care about living in trash? And that's another thing about Milwaukee that like, I think should be at the top of the list is a clean city for everybody. So how do we do that? There's a lot of ideas that could come about, but that would be something that really would interest me to figure out. Mm -hmm. um, what do you think are the biggest misconceptions about you? I just got off the phone a couple of days ago with a, uh, a, someone that's on the team of a, a senator in this country. And, and she said, you know, when I watch your videos, I expected you to be a certain way when I met you, like more, I don't know, boisterous or wild, or I think I'm a, like, I'm a pretty reserved guy by nature. We live a pretty reserved life. We go to bed at 9.30, we, we have a book we read, and then we wake up at 6.30 or so, and we walk our dog in the woods. So I'm not, you know, I'm not throwing ragers at my house. I'm not going out to the bar. I've, as you can tell, I've never been to a strip club except for documentary purposes. So I live a pretty, like as, as wild as my life can look on camera, I live a pretty relaxed and calm life, like a grandpa off camera. Yeah. Um, one bonus question I want to throw in, then we'll get to one more. Milwaukee, you're taking off pretty big right now. It seems like everything indicates that you want to stay here, at least have a presence here for the very long term. Why is that? Hmm. 
One, I love the city for for many reasons. I love that it's a big city with a that it's still you can wrap your arms around. It's twenty minutes from end to end. It's not like a New York or Chicago where you get lost in the sprawl. Uh, I really love that how nature is integrated into a lot, a lot of part of the city. Like where we live, there's a river five minutes away, and that's one of our favorite places to go and, and visit. So um, the urban architecture, I really like. I like the people. I like the cost of living. I like the investment opportunities. I like the Midwest humble and grind mentality. I like that it's centrally located, that wherever I fly in the country, it's, this is kind of a midpoint area. I like how easy our airport is to get through. You get, I can show up and get through security in 15 minutes. That's really big. But I certainly have considered moving to the outskirts of Milwaukee, uh, especially we'll see how crazy the summer goes. But I am very worried that things are going to get out of control and that as we have kids that this is not going to be a place that I can raise my kids. And I, I really don't like to even have to say that out loud, but I think it's undeniable that if you're becoming a parent, you have to think about that. Mm-hmm. Um, final question. Looking back, what are what are you most proud of of what you've done to date and where, where you've gotten to this point? What I'm proud of is I've always had entrepreneurial dreams and ambitions ever since I was a little kid. And I'm just happy that I have finally found a job that I love, that I'm passionate about, that I will do 14, 15, 16 hour days for, uh, that I get to be excited about. I get to always be working on who are my contacts, where am I going next, what am I going to shoot, what, how are we going to do this? So I would say what I'm proudest of so far is, is building a business I love and then building a family that I love. I have a wonderful wife and dog and we're going to be having kids very soon and I'm very much excited the aspect of being a father and and enjoying that journey and so i have a very um i have a peaceful home life and i have a enticing career and that's not something i've always had so it's a very big luxury to have those two things love it tommy g thanks so much for coming on today it was great Thank seeing you, you again me, after like five six years and congrats on everything i appreciate that signing off and we'll see you guys whenever the next episode is <laughs> Hey, I just wanted to thank you for tuning into this clip of Milwaukee Uncut. We'd love it if you took a second to hit the subscribe button and also like this clip. That helps us get more eyes on this show here on YouTube. Thanks again for supporting Milwaukee Uncut.